What's up guys, Jeff Cavalier, Athlinex.com. So today we're talking about protein. Actually 10 foods that you probably never knew had as much protein in them as they do. As a matter of fact guys, when it comes to building muscle, we know that protein is an essential part of the recipe, but these undercover proteins are ones that sort of go overlooked after today's video, no more. But I'm not gonna stop there because I think it's important that you know not only which foods have this amount of protein in them, but the quantities that you're gonna be expected to eat to get that. If you tell me three ounces, I might not know what that even means. I'm gonna to try to make that helpful for you by showing you what an actual portion size is. So with that said guys, let's start breaking them down one by one. All right, so I think it's fair to point out, however, that there's a big discrepancy in what people think is an adequate level or sufficient level of protein that you should take in in a day. Some will say as low as 0.5 grams per pound of body weight, and some will say as high as 1.5 grams per pound of body weight. I'm gonna fall in that range of 0.7 to one. And oftentimes we rely on the old reliables, chicken, fish, eggs, beef, or even milk. Guys, you know, all the old school bodybuilder staples. Well, the fact is, those other things that are sitting right there in plain sight, you're overlooking right now. But if you knew where to look, you'd have some new opportunities. The first thing you should be looking for is this. And some might be thinking, pasta, that's a carbohydrate. Well, whole wheat pasta also provides quite a bit of protein too, actually seven and a half grams per cup of whole wheat pasta. And I talked about showing you what this actually looks like because regardless of what type of pasta or what shape I'm showing you here, we can all agree there's really not that much on the plate. So realistically, we actually probably eat twice as much in a serving, which puts this number at about 15 grams. Now, while this source of protein is not a complete source of protein, there are ways that we can fix that. As a matter of fact, the next food does a great job of that. So mom and dad were right about this next food because it packs a powerful protein punch and you should have been eating them all along or at least not feeding them to the dog or you know, putting them in a napkin and throwing them in the garbage. Listen, I digress. The fact is you should be eating peas because peas have a lot more protein than you think they might. As a matter of fact, four grams of protein per half a cup. And once again, this is a half a cup. It's not a lot of peas. God forbid if you have to actually double this dose here, you're at one cup, you've got eight grams of protein. Now we know that pea protein is one of the main constituents of vegan sources of protein powders. It does have an ability to drive your protein totals up, but again, in an incomplete way. But guess what? I mentioned the pasta, throw your peas on top of your whole wheat pasta, now you've got a complete protein, you've got a great way to amp up those protein totals without a lot of effort. So this next food comes in a pretty obvious category when it comes to looking for more protein, and that's dairy. But it's where it sits in this category and how much above the others that it does sit that makes this one pretty special. And we're talking about cheese, in particular, grated Parmesan cheese. Now I'll get to this in a second, but Parmesan Reggiano is different than other regular Parmesan. But we're talking about how much 11 grams of protein per ounce. And again, if you're looking at an ounce of cheese here, it's not a lot. Many of you probably eat more than that, so these totals are gonna to continue to go up. But when we look at what it compares to, we're talking about six grams for something like cheddar cheese. So this one stands alone at the top in terms of the high protein content per gram. That being said, the Italian meat is gonna make it impossible to not finish this segment without the public service announcement to say, find the right Parmesan cheese, meaning the one that bears the name Parmesan Reggiano, because it's only those cheeses that have that exact name that are actually the real Parmesan cheese. Everything else is an imitation. And in those imitations, you've got extra ingredients that kind of help with the shelf life, things that you really don't wanna put in your body. And again, we've got the cheese here, you throw that on top of your peas and your pasta, you gotta have a carbonara going. So mom and dad weren't the only ones that were right all along when they were telling you what to eat. So was this guy. You know the guy with giant forearms that didn't resort to Jesse's methods? And of course we all know his go-to source of protein, spinach. Five and a half grams of protein per cup of cooked spinach. Again, something you're probably not aware of that has as much as it does. And when you look at it on a plate, you realize it's really not a hell of a lot. And it leaves a lot of room in your plate for other things. But it's not just the benefits of protein that I'm a fan of when it comes to spinach. This is one of the most calorically light but nutrient dense foods you can put in your body. Because we know it has only six carbohydrates per serving size that's a lot lower than all the other food choices we've seen so far. And again, at just 41 calories to pack five and a half grams of protein, we're doing something good here. Not to mention the fact that we have a lot of calcium, magnesium, and also vitamin A to increase the potency of this food, guys. It's one you're not gonna wanna overlook anymore when you're looking for good sources of protein. So you knew this next one had to be on the list if you know my love affair with pumpkin. But we're not talking about the orange part. We're talking about these pumpkin seeds. And did you know that they have more protein than any other nut or seed out there? As a matter of fact, they've got eight grams per ounce of pumpkin seeds. You might be thinking to yourself, how much is an ounce? Well, it's actually 85 seeds for those out there who want to count. Or you take a bag of five ounce seeds like this, and it's right here up to the bottom, one fifth of the bag. 
That's not a lot of pumpkin seeds to eat, guys. But most importantly, when it comes to this food, it's an inexpensive protein option. That's not the case with most protein sources. As a matter of fact, if you compare this to something like pistachio nuts, you've got a 45% decrease in price. At just 82 cents per 100 grams, you're talking about 45% less than the $1.47 it would cost you for those same pistachios. Guys, you can't go wrong with pumpkin in any form, but the pumpkin seeds are an amazing way to increase your protein intake, and at the same time, your healthy fats as well. All right, so this next one here, I'm gonna come clean on, guys. I don't like it at all. But it doesn't mean that you don't have to like it. As a matter of fact, it's a very popular source of protein for good reason. We're talking about cottage cheese, full-fat cottage cheese, which can have up to 30 grams of protein, which is a lot of protein. As a matter of fact, unseen in a lot of different protein sources. Unless, of course, you take RX2 Accelerate by Athlean RX. Shameless plug, I know. That being said, some call this the original Greek yogurt, but I have to disagree, because this oftentimes has a hell of a lot less sugar than a lot of the popular Greek yogurts have. And also, you may not like the taste like me, but there's a lot of ways we can actually make this taste better, because you can put a lot of things in cottage cheese to do that. Pro tip from me, add a little bit of cinnamon, it will cut down some of that sourness by introducing some of the bitterness of the cinnamon itself. Guys, no matter how you put it, there's no overlooking the impact that cottage cheese provides when you're looking to bump up those protein totals, likely even higher than you ever thought. And so as we move our way to the next food here, you might be thinking to yourself, geez, I'm really craving that 10 ounce filet with over 50 grams of protein. Or you're saying, you know what, Jeff, this is actually helping me out. And I'm finding new ways to actually supplement my protein intake and to add new ways to do it. Well, guess what? The next one here is actually one that I actually supplement out a carbohydrate for when I'm seeking protein. And this is quinoa. See, quinoa has eight grams of protein per cup. And once again, you can see that there's not a lot when we're talking about one cup. And the nice thing about the use of this, as I mentioned, I like to swap out a carbohydrate to put this in my diet, and that means rice. Oftentimes, I have meals that have a bed of rice on the bottom. If I swap that out for a bed of quinoa, you can pretty much double this from eight to 16. I've got another avenue here where I'm seeking a higher protein alternative while still satisfying my carb craving. And oh, by the way, this here, a complete protein. So no missing out on any essential amino acids with this option. And speaking of complete proteins, the next food is another one that makes its way to my plate sometimes, but in moderation. You see, we're talking about soybeans, or specifically edamame. You see, there's a lot of mixed research out there when it comes to these estrogenic type foods. Or at least some people say they promote estrogen and others will say they have estrogen blocking capabilities. And a lot of times when we're talking about soy, there is mixed research because it depends on the source of the soy that you're eating. And when we're talking about edamame, we are talking about all natural sources. And we're talking about 21 grams of protein per cup. You see textured soy proteins that appear in a lot of highly processed foods or even soy burgers, again, a processed food, are not gonna give you the same benefits that a natural source of soy would. So you can't look at them the same way. But again, completely discounting all soy when you're looking for higher protein alternatives is a mistake and it's at least one that you might wanna consider when you're looking for your options of how you wanna increase your protein intake. And so next we have another undercover protein that's one I actually like to put at the start of my day, and it's another one that comes in the form of a carbohydrate. We're talking about oatmeal. And whether you prefer the sort of chewy, steel-cut oats, or whether you like the old-fashioned rolled oats, they both actually pack about eight to nine grams of protein in a serving. And we're talking about a half a cup. Once again, a half a cup is not a lot. And when you consider that we can actually mix this with some other protein sources when we make it, it actually boosts this up even further. Think about walnuts being added to this, or maybe even milk. Or some people like to even add some protein powder. For me, that would be Athlean RX2, the highest quality protein on the market. That being said, guys, however you decide to do it, starting your day with this is a great way to get some extra protein in from an unlikely source. Next up, we have probably the most underappreciated on this entire list, and not just for its protein potency, but also for its palatability. Say that one five times fast, Jesse. We're talking about lentils. And you see, lentils are extremely powerful when it comes to an alternative protein option, because we're talking about 18 grams of protein per cup. But not just that, guys. I mentioned fiber before. This one is packing 16 grams of fiber in that same one cup. Look, when it comes to looking for alternative protein sources, it's all about the protein for this video, but you know what? It's also about the health. And when it comes to the health, this one here is one I highly recommend that you consider. Let's throw in one bonus one here, guys. If the idea of eating pond scum is right up your alley, well, you're gonna love the next one here, and it's spirulina. Well, look, I'm just kidding, but it is actually from algae. And the fact is, this food right here packs 57 grams of protein 
per 100 grams of it. That means it makes it the number one most concentrated source of protein available in the entire world. That being said, there's no denying the fact that this can be easily incorporated into a lot of different foods, including your favorite protein shake, which by the way, if I haven't mentioned, Athlon RX2, the highest quality protein shake on the market. Guys, there's no denying the fact that even though this may not taste the greatest, it does pack a powerful protein punch, as I said in the beginning, that you may want to consider when you're looking for alternative proteins. So there you have it, guys. 10 foods with a bonus that probably have a lot more protein than you ever thought they did. And in doing so, maybe you opened up your eyes to some new possibilities when you're looking to increase the amount of protein in your diet. And all kidding aside, guys, the shameless plugs aside, Athlean RX2 is one of the highest quality protein powders available on the market. It's one I'm proud to put my name on. It's trusted by today's top pro athletes and their teams. It's available over at athleanx.com, as well as you know, our Athlean programs available there too. If you found the video helpful, make sure you leave your comments and thumbs up below. Let me know what else I can do and what I can cover for you in a future video. I'll do my best to do that. If you haven't done so, make sure you click subscribe and turn your notifications so you never miss a new video when we put one out. All right, guys, see you soon.